A lot of people have waited for this video and today I'm happy to bring it to you. This is by far the hardest video I've yet to do on this channel. Besides trying to get good content for you guys, I wouldn't have been able to do it without my family seeing the video. During the current pandemic, I've had a lot of time to think hard and develop my mind of fishing, thus putting challenges on myself. One challenge that a lot of you will know is a quest for a £20 carp. This challenge was set for me back in 2017 when I first started to get into the bigger world of carp fishing. Every trip I gave it my all but nothing seemed to work. I knew this trip I had to step up my game and use the time wisely. Did it pay off? Let's have a look. Welcome to the Family Fishing Holiday 2020. On arrival at Linear, we decided to head for Oxley's. We managed to get a peg, but soon found out it was a max day of 48 hours due to a booking. With Oxley's feeling well at the time, we wanted to give it a good go, but on the other hand, we knew if we were to build a swim up, we'd soon have to say goodbye to it. So, we stuck to simple bags at different ranges and hoped for the best. And it wasn't long before the first bite. Oh my God. Where is it? Yeah, I have got someone's line there. Can you get your line in? Oh, it's gone. No, gone. Yeah. My dad arrived later that evening. He sat up and tied on a pre-made bag. Knowing we were moving the next day, he wished for the best as he lobbed it out at random. Here we are then, Dad. Your right. first fish on the family fishing holiday. £20 for. Put up a beautiful scrap. Let's get him back. Without no hesitation, we moved straight to Brazenose 2, as this was our second option of lake to go on. Straight away, we set up and got the rods out. We all knew that it was time to act up, so I got clipped and found a spot at 10 and a half wraps. This was a gravel bar. Between each gravel bar was a long stretch of sill. From me to the distance I was fishing, there run an estimate of seven gravel bars, and before the first one in front of me, there was a massive bed of weed. I knew it would be tricky to land a fish, but I wasn't too worried as my confidence was little looking over this 34 acre lake. Okay everyone, this is my first fish that I've hooked at Ninja Fisheries. We're on Brazenose 2, and you don't feel bad to be honest. Hopefully it's the 20 that I've been after, but let's try and get him in. I know there's a big thick bed of weed out here, so I need to keep this rod tip really high up. These moments are when fishing is painful, losing a potential three year goal. Trust me, it wasn't nice. But just to think that a fish was on my spot gave me some confidence, so it wasn't long before I got the rod back out. Although my dad was happy another fish was on the bank, something wasn't right for him. My dad knowing how much effort I put in for this trip, he was praying this trip would be the one. But with my confidence still high, I went back to bed hoping that one carp would move on to my spot. And within the next hour of first light, my rod teared off. At this moment we thought the fish got snagged in the weed and came off. But I kept steady pressure, rod tip was high and I started to feel some jolts on the rod. The fish was still on and came on the weed. Oh 
Come on! Let's go! Yes! Yes! Fights on 23 floor, it's 22. There you go, I can get on the 22. Everybody, the 20 pound that I've been after for three years on the bike in my hands. 22.4. Absolutely chuffed to hell with it. Beautiful, massive gutted mirror, caught on three grains of fake porn at 10 and a half wraps out of distance. With a spotted area and a PVA bag. He absolutely teared off. That's what's going off. <laughs> Come on, Dad. <laughs> Unfortunately, Dad didn't manage to get that fish in in the end, but three-year goal was finally complete for me. It was a very special fish. Uh, it was a fish known on a lot of Facebook forums as the Camel Mirror, uh, so that made me even more happier. Um, I didn't get the release on film, but here's a few pictures uh, just seeing. Right, everybody, you saw the £20 that I had on the bank. Three years of hard work and effort, and finally I got in. Um, fishing out of ten and a half wraps as I said and I chucked a solid bag out last night. This is the rig that produced the first ever 20 pound that I had. Homemade German rig, three grains of fake corn, two of which are floating and one slow sinking. This is making it critically buoyant, uh, critically balanced over the top of my spot mix. Um, I've started casting out um, a solid bag over the top of my um, spot mix. So my hook bait is presented a bit more and it's like over some pellet. I haven't got pellet in my spot mix but I've got hemp, oily and sweet corn. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, but this is exactly the rig that produced the 20 pounder. Uh, I struck into it, came in fairly quick to be honest and then about two rod lengths out we've got a very very strong thick bed of weed and it's about it's about a rod length and rod length and a half of just massive long weed uh, and it goes across to my mum and dad's peg as well so saying that the fish I had the rod tip high and he buried his nose right into the weed and we thought we lost it so I was a bit disheartened at the point but I kept steady pressure on it and I slowly felt the jolts of him coming out uh, so and he, he just finally came out and he rolled and I shouted to my dad it's, it's out it's come out it's come out and he came running over, um, grabbed the net, and then, well, he got in and netted it. And it was one of the happiest moments of my life, because I've finally done a three-year mission, pretty much. So, what will it be next? A 30-pounder or a bigger 20? Half one in the morning. We've just got the stunning common in the net. Ready? Okay. There she is. Are you cooking for me then, Mum? Nothing, it's all mine. Oh, great. Sausage, bacon, egg. Oh, tidy, look at that. Nothing better than bacon and egg on the bank, is there, Mum? It's time to talk about the spot mix. Here we have some pre-cooked hemp made by Apex Baits, some pre-cooked uh, maize by Apex Baits, and we've also got the party mix by Apex Maize. 
these guys do amazing deals and you can get a massive box of 60 kilos for almost £100 and now you couldn't really make that anywhere else and that's what's great about them. I've also got a 5 kilo bag of uh, Freezer Life Curl Boilies and I've chucked a, a few handfuls of them in. I haven't crumbed them or anything because there's plenty of attraction in the particle mix and party mix so I've just left them whole. At the start of the week I did fish the curl boilies um, as a hook bait but I used curl wafters as well uh, topped off with like fake pieces of maize it didn't, wasn't really doing the trick so I decided to chuck a few grains of corn on well a few grains of fake corn make it a bit buoyant critically balanced just over the top of the bait and well it's catching down at linear fisheries coming in very very easy I'm not sure even if it's a carp the way it's screamed off it should be oh it is a carp it's only a little one though it's still a fish isn't it no he's not tiny oh it's a new dope Yes, get in the net. <laughs> yes, absolutely amazing. Check him out. Stunner, absolutely stunner. Make sure the packs are flat. guys, here we are, I'm not sure what the time is, but he isn't as small as I thought he was, you just saw the absolutely screamer on it, I didn't even know if I was awake or not, it's one of them, but still, it's an absolute beautiful mirror, hey mid rig, right in the bottom there, hey, 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 hey. I'll show you my video. Wrong with that. Check that out. Lovely. Go away, Mozzie. Lovely early morning, very late carp. Beautiful fish. Oh, well, guys. Um. I've already said this the last morning, a uh, bit annoying, we're going to stay a bit longer but it's due to rain really heavily and with all work and school and stuff like that, but we should be returning very soon. Um, but saying that, uh, we've had a very good session so far, it's still now, today and tonight to come, but I thought I'd just go for a little run through of what rig I'm using and why I choose this rig, why it's my favourite rig to actually use. And yeah, we'll have a little chat about that. So to start, the reason I use the German rig is because it can be used as a pop-up bait or wafter bait, uh, slow sinking bait, like a hook bait thing. And it can be used as a bottom or a floating bait, I should say. Now with the German rig, they're very, very easy to make. And when you buy the stuff that you need to make with it, in which there will be a video in the near future on how to actually make a German rig. It don't come really, really expensive to be honest. Uh, shrink tube, quick change swivel, whatever your preferred hook is, and arse and also thing. Uh, with the German rig you can use different hooks for it. Um, which is brilliant. I'm using a stiff rigger hook now. Um, which are very, very nice. Uh, they keep their sharpness very well to be fair. But as I said, the other hooks I was using, they were a bit, uh, literally almost after any pickup or liner, they would start 
they wouldn't be sharp enough and I've got a hook sharpener but with the type of hooks I was using they weren't good for sharpening but anyway it's not it don't come really costly you can you can use anti-tangle sleeves quick change swivel your preferred hook link I personally use 20 pound gravel bound uh, armor link or 20 pound silt link um, but shrink tube as well micro wig swivel hook bead and that's it. Off as big as ever fish, twenty five pound two inch. There we are guys. New PB again, twenty five pound two ounces. An absolute chunk of a brazen those two mirror. Caught on three grains of fake corn, being buoyant, ten and a half wraps, solid bag over a spotted area. And teared off, wiped my other line out, but I'm glad to have got him on the bank. UPB. Welcome to part two. During this trip in autumn, we decided to go on Oxleys. We managed the same peg, but there was not as much footage as part one due to the very bad weather. But as soon as the weather was showing, I got on the camera. So I hope you enjoy. The left hand bay is a hotspot zone. You could not fish it from anywhere other than the peg you see me stood on. You could walk round to the bay and bait up by hand. When I arrived, I spoke to a chap whose name was Chris. Chris told me he'd been fishing the bay but had no success. He told me he was aiming at a milk bottle that was in the tree. This had obviously been put up there as a target. When Chris told me about this, I straight away went and had a look. I looked, took my Polaroids in me and managed to spot some very unconfident fish. As soon as I leaned over the water, they were gone. I knew that because I was going in for the long haul, I would take my efforts and get the swim confident over the days. I was there feeding it with various baits and a few days passed and I started to notice a change in the fish's behaviour. They were head down tail up, constantly feeding in the spot. I decided to only put a rod on the last couple of days I was there, just to minimise any chance of disturbance. I offered my nan the chance for me to cast a rod at a random chuck. I casted three grains of fake buoyant corn and around 30 minutes passed without a single bite. Then we all look at the rod as it's hanging off the rest near enough about to go in. I ran out and struck into it. I handed the rod to my nan, but she gave it back to me as soon as she felt how heavy the fish was. As I was bringing the fish in, it was just hugging the lake bed, and I wasn't sure at all what size it was. I just thought it was a small carp or a big tench or something. Then he rolled by the net and my heart dropped. Lift it up, ma'am. No way! No way! Oh, oh my god. 33. And that'll finish. 33 seven. Right, hold it with him, Nan. Look out! <laughs> 31 pounds, 2 ounces. Oh. Alright guys, here we go. Welcome to the 30 Club. I've already gone back. Oh. There's 32 pound 2 mirror carp from Oxys at Linear Fisheries. Caught 3 grains of fake corn, just a single out there. And that's all you need nowadays. An absolutely beautiful fish. Thanks mate. Do it again. Oh. 
When I went round the bay, I noticed a few other species had come in. There were pike, bream, roach, and a few other species. It got me thinking back last year when I landed a cracking 10 pound 8 ounce bream from Hardwick and Smith's. That was unexpected. But it was the final night and I was just waiting for the bay rod to tear off. And without any shock, it did. Right guys, here we go. 26 pound 13 ounces of pure Oxley's Miracarp. Caught three grains of fake corn on that baited area on that gravel patch. In that left hand bay, it produces beautiful, beautiful mirror. That was the final night on Oxley's. I came out with two fish. My dad on B2 had two more that we didn't film. £27 and £21. We had a great couple of trips and came out with 10 fish over both trips. That's the best we've ever done. If you guys like this, please be sure to subscribe. If you want to see more family holidays, please let me know down in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.